Homestead know-how, life is good. So this is how much rain we've got, and this will be kind of a add-on or a part two video to the video with the duck brooder bulb exploding. So all this in front of me is my driveway into my garage and my basement. Now this flooded beforehand, uh, even before the driveway was put in. It always builds up. But this is probably about six inches deep, guys. And I gotta go down here to the barn to get uh, that bulb, but I wanna show you something here. Now this, this is all gravel underneath. So that's probably about three full-size truck lengths of water just standing and then it goes over to the road there and I'm gonna back up I know this is not the best video because of the darkness but I'm trying to give you the best idea of what's transpiring here with all this rain I mean they they said flash flooding but this is just different views now I'm backing up into my field and I mean you can just see how much rain I mean just uh, every bit of that just, just water and then I'm gonna put it in drive and here it's it's starting to rain harder again I'm gonna put it in drive and this is just old two-wheel drive pickup here so I don't want to get too gung-ho Look at this now. Over here, this is this is going. Alright. And I'm gonna go right over here. And you can see uh, now this is where it goes down through my field here. I'm gonna drive through it and if we start spinning, I guess I'll just get out and walk to the barn and get my light. So anyways, you follow this down, this goes goes down my field here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this. I'm gonna turn up the hill. Down here at the back, my neighbor has a creek. You can't see it right now, but it, uh, it's got a beaver dam in it right now and it floods bad, bad, bad. So I'm gonna go over here to the barn. And I'm fortunate enough to have out in the barn, there's another chicken tractor. Tractor, chicken tractor. I'll say it right in a minute or two. Put my hoodie on. I'm gonna go ahead and record. Going over here to the barn. And it's, it's. I mean, I'm in probably an inch or two of water right there just getting out for the barn. You can see how bad it's raining. I'm gonna turn the barn light on. All right, now we're down here in the barn. I mean, just look at this. This is how it's been raining like this for three or four hours. Easy. Three or four hours. All right. Used to get a lot of water running in down here at the barn. So I dug a trench right here. And there's some stuff falling in it. Stuff. Move it out of the way. Try to keep stuff as dry as possible, but kids get down here playing and stuff gets moved around and then also we had a lot of water that was standing here there's our worm worm farm so we get a lot of water standing here which there's still some there I need to do some work on that but it would stand here and it's still standing at the moment some but I put a piece of just some old PVC pipe in it runs out right here, like that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go in here, and we're gonna, and it's raining, crazy mad. We're going here, and we're gonna get right here. Yeah, here we go. Maybe I just need to take both of these since we've been seeming to have some issues there. All right. So, 
We got our heat lamp bulbs. These are 250 watt infrared. And we do have some, I think, that are 150. So, you know, as your chicks get older and stuff, you can uh, reduce the heat lamp wattage. So, that'll help out. I'll tell you what, guys, I might not have to move. Rocket. He might be getting covered up with rain. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go out here and see, I guess. Figure out someone in the barn for him, I reckon. I kind of put him in a quick lot the other night because he was causing problems with the goats. So I might have to get out here and move him in the darn rain. We'll see. Here's some plants. We ain't been able to plant yet. Because we had the frost the other night. Jeez, guys, it's just pouring down. Luckily, no tornado as of right now. There's still tornado watch. We got some flooding going on. So anyway, I'm going to get back in the truck. Go over here, check on this dog and check on the goats real quick just to make sure that they're in and out of the, out of the rain and stuff. So, hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Look up here, there's, it's kind of a cool little view there. It's the barn lot. Hope you enjoyed the video. There's definitely gonna be some flooding around, guys. So, uh, might have some video of that tomorrow. We've gotta go out. Of course, you can see the house up there, but it's it's coming down pretty good. A lot of water comes off my neighbor's property onto ours, and then back down to the back on back onto their property again. So when it rains like this, we get a lot of it. But I hope y'all have a good day. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Have a good one.